tooth fairy gave our daughter a hundred dollars. Does she not know that the going rate for a tooth is five at the most? Shh, I didn't say anything. Stop talking. That's talking. You think she's asleep yet? I'm on the same side of the door as you Stop are. Stop talking. Cam? Lily lost her first tooth today, and she's very excited about a visit from the tooth fairy. When I had my first loose tooth, my mama tied one end of a string to it, and the other to the tail of a Guernsey cow, fired off a 12-gauge shotgun, and the cow went running out of the room. That never happened. Tell that to the cow-shaped hole in my bedroom wall. Gotcha! Oh! What are you doing here? You're not the tooth fairy. N no, but we just wanted to see if she'd come yet. No, she sure is taking her sweet time. Maybe you should just go back to sleep, sweetie, because it could take a while. I've got nowhere to be. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. Daddy's, daddy's, the tooth fairy came. Oh, what? No that's way. That's so exciting. What'd she bring you? Well. <laughs> oh, fairy dust. Oh. Nice touch. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. Uh-huh. Some stickers. Oh. A toothbrush. Oh. And a hundred dollar bill. What? Wow. Come on. Look at that. Okay. I love the tooth fairy. The tooth fairy gave our daughter a hundred dollars. Does she not know that the going rate for a tooth is five at the most? Well, obviously, the tooth fairy made a mistake. Maybe it's because the tooth fairy handled too much Chardonnay last night. I think the tooth fairy can handle the Chardonnay. What I don't think she can handle is criticizing someone who made an honest mistake in the dark of the night. I'm going to put this in my clutch. I can't wait to tell everyone at school. OK, we cannot be the parents of a six-year-old who gets $100 from the tooth fairy. It's bad enough for the parents of a six-year-old with a clutch. You know, that bag transitions from day to night seamlessly, and I no longer have to carry crayons in my front pocket. Can't have this argument again. Look what just came in the mail. A letter addressed to you, Lily. Really? I don't get much mail. Oh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the tooth fairy. One tooth fairy lane, tooth city, tooth Dakota. Mm -hmm. I hope it's another hundred dollars. Oh, well, looky there, glitter. <laughs> the tooth fairy doesn't have to worry about vacuuming. See, dear Lily, I'm writing because I made a mistake and gave you too much money. Yeah. Please leave the hundred dollars under your pillow tonight and I'll give you a dollar. Sorry if that bites. <laughs> oh. Let me see that. I can't read. Uh, well, it sounds like she's really in a jam, and I think we're gonna have to give the Tooth Fairy her hundred dollars back. Mm -hmm. No, I want to keep it. I'm scared that she's gonna be the one taking care of us when we're older. Yeah. 